The Baltic Sea is a vital waterway. It connects nine countries in Northern Europe. These countries include Denmark, Germany, and many others. The sea is a major route for trade and travel. For centuries it has been a link between these nations. Denmark and Germany in particular have strong ties across the Baltic Sea. They are key players in the region. Both nations have recognized the need for better connections. This is where the Feymarn Belt Tunnel project comes in. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel is an ambitious project. It aims to bridge the gap between these two countries. This will be done by creating a fixed link under the Feymarn Belt Strait. This strait is a body of water that separates Denmark and Germany. This tunnel is not just a feat of engineering, it's a symbol of cooperation. It represents a commitment to progress and connectivity. The tunnel will bring enormous benefits to the region and beyond. The idea of a fixed link across the Feymarn Belt is not new. It was first discussed in the 1990s. Both Denmark and Germany saw the potential benefits. They wanted to improve transportation and boost trade between the two countries. The initial discussions were just the beginning. They led to feasibility studies and political agreements. These were necessary steps to explore the project further. The goal was to find the best solution for this complex challenge. In 2008, a historic agreement was signed. Denmark and Germany agreed to build the Feymarn Belt link. This was a major milestone for the project. It solidified the commitment from both nations. This agreement marked the start of a long and challenging journey. It would take years of planning, design and construction. But the vision was clear, to create a lasting connection between two nations. The decision to build a tunnel rather than a bridge, was a carefully considered one. Several factors influenced this choice. Engineers and experts weighed the pros and cons of each option. A bridge across the Feymarn Belt would have been a magnificent sight. However, it also presented some challenges. The strait is a busy shipping route. A bridge could pose a risk to maritime traffic. Additionally, weather conditions in the region can be harsh. This could affect the stability of a bridge. A tunnel, on the other hand, offered a more reliable and less disruptive solution. Building a tunnel beneath the seabed would not interfere with ships. It would also be less susceptible to weather-related closures. This made the tunnel a safer and more practical choice. The decision to build a tunnel was a triumph of engineering pragmatism over aesthetics. It demonstrated a commitment to choosing the most efficient and least disruptive option for this vital link. A mega project takes shape. Building the impossible. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel is a massive undertaking. It is one of the largest infrastructure projects in Europe. Its scale is truly impressive. The numbers alone tell the story of this engineering marvel. The tunnel will stretch for over 18 kilometers. That's longer than 11 miles. It will be the world's longest immersed tunnel for both road and rail traffic. Constructing such a tunnel is a complex process. It involves prefabricating huge concrete sections. These sections are then transported by sea and sunk onto the seabed. To build this tunnel, a giant factory was constructed. This factory is located on the Danish island of Lolland. It is here that the tunnel sections are being made. Each section is massive weighing approximately 73,000 tons. The factory itself is an impressive feat of engineering. It covers an area equivalent to 75 football fields. This highlights the sheer scale of the Feymarn Belt Tunnel project. The green heart of the project minimizing environmental impact. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel project is not just about connecting two countries. It is also about protecting the environment. The Baltic Sea is a delicate ecosystem. It is home to a variety of marine life. The project developers understand the importance of minimizing their impact on this valuable habitat. Throughout the construction process, stringent environmental measures are being implemented. These measures are designed to protect marine life and water quality. For example, noise and vibration monitoring systems are used to minimize disturbance to marine animals. The project also incorporates sustainable practices. Materials are sourced responsibly. Construction techniques are chosen to reduce waste and emissions. This commitment to sustainability is an integral part of the Feymarn Belt Tunnel project. By prioritizing environmental responsibility, the project sets a positive example for future infrastructure development. 
it shows that progress and sustainability can go hand in hand. Innovation from the depths, creating land for the future. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel Project is not just about what lies beneath the sea, it is also about what is being created above it. The project involves dredging millions of cubic meters of seabed material. This material is not being discarded, it is being put to innovative use. The excavated material is being used to create new land areas. These areas will serve various purposes including nature restoration and coastal protection. This innovative approach to material reuse is a testament to the project's commitment to sustainability. The creation of new land offers numerous benefits. It provides habitats for wildlife, it helps protect coastlines from erosion, it also creates new opportunities for recreation and tourism. This aspect of the project demonstrates a forward-thinking approach to resource management. By turning a construction challenge into an environmental opportunity, the Fay Marn Belt Tunnel Project is setting a new standard for sustainable development. It is a prime example of how infrastructure projects can have a positive impact on the environment. A new era of connectivity, the legacy of the Feymarn Belt Tunnel. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel is scheduled for completion in 2029. When it opens it will mark a new era of connectivity between Denmark and Germany. This connection will bring a wide range of benefits to the region and beyond. The tunnel will significantly reduce travel time between the two countries. Currently, the journey by ferry takes around 45 minutes. The tunnel will shorten this to just 10 minutes by car and 7 minutes by train. This improved connectivity will boost trade, tourism and cultural exchange. The tunnel will also have a positive impact on the environment. By shifting traffic from ferries to electric trains and cars, the tunnel will contribute to a reduction in CO2 emissions. This is a significant step towards a more sustainable future for transportation in the region. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel is more than just an infrastructure project. It is a symbol of cooperation, innovation, and sustainability. It represents a commitment to building a better future for generations to come.